So uh, a couple of years ago, I found myself sitting in a square area about 16 feet by 16 feet. I was sitting on a stool about yay high. I had someone I trusted very closely reminding me about the strategy, about the plan for the next eight minutes. Over those next eight minutes, I would proceed to unfortunately have to throw that entire plan out the window. You see, I was in a boxing ring doing my first amateur match and you probably weren't expecting a Mike Tyson quote to open up your presentation this morning, but truer words have actually never been said. And I actually think about these words very regularly in the sense of a plan really, really only works if everything falls into place. Strategic foresight is the practice, it's the art, it's the science of thinking about resiliency. And we'll talk a little bit more about what it is in a couple of minutes. But first, I want to actually share with you another fascinating, uh, not really person. Does anyone happen to know who this is? You can shout it out. It's okay. Janice. So uh, I've long been fascinated with... Uh, Greek and Roman mythology, and in, the Romans believed in many, many different gods, God of war, God of love, God of the sun. But I always found it intriguing that they had a God of doors and gates. This was Janus, and there's many, many depictions of, I'm going to say him, I don't know if there's a particular gender with which uh, Janus would have associated, but um, why a God of doors and gates? Well, doors are interesting. And if we look you know, at the doors, you don't actually have to look. You know what they look like. But doors are both entrances and exits. And there are very few objects in our world that can do their main function and the exact opposite. So in Roman mythology, doors and gates actually represented, this is a bit heavy here, but represented the duality of man, past and future, good and evil. And so... We're going to talk a little bit more about my fascination with Janice, my fascination with Mike Tyson in a couple of minutes, but um, I should probably introduce myself. Uh, as was mentioned, I was meant to join you, or maybe I wasn't meant to, uh, in Whistler just about a year ago. I, I did have a